Keith. Late heartbreak for for Albion. Just uh, just sum up what you've seen there. Highly disappointing. Very disappointing. I thought we'd sort of regain control, having had a dodgy spell early on. I thought we were the better team, looking for the winner. Coming up against all the typical Warnock tactics, you will go down, you will fake injury, and all of that stuff. But then we should have scored, really. Really should have scored, but the keeper got it from Magic. Up the other end, soccer punch should have been cut out when the ball came across the box. Two one. Yeah, I saw Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was good. Uh, I just thought that the, the devastation of thinking we'd won it right at the end. I was on my on my feet thinking we won it, and then literally within 30 seconds lost the game. So yeah, got it. I thought we at least deserved the draw. Probably should have won today. What do you feel is a sort of missing link at the moment. I know people have sort of pointed the thing at the defence, the style that Corbyn wants the play is trying to implement. What yeah. have you made of it? It's so easy to blame the defence. He's adamant he wants to play that way and I understand why. Unfortunately he doesn't have the components to do it. But I would actually look at the two in front of the defence. Malumbi and uh, Yukushin. They lack mobility. Malumbi can't pass a football to save his life. I think there's problems there. And with very little option because Chalabar's worse. Yeah, it was a bit sloppy I thought. Passing. Movement, yeah. yeah. I thought we were dangerous going coming forward, but always looked like we were going to concede. Just as well, that's the problem all season. Isn't it? Three home games, six goals conceded, but but then we looked like we were going to score any time. So um, just disappointed at the end. First first game as well. This one first uh, our first home game for uh, for season ticket holders for the first time. So I've been a supporter all my life. I came here as a as a child with my father, who was born in West Bromwich. Um, and this is, I've just retired, and this is my first home game, season ticket holders now. So. Well, hopefully it gets better from, from I here. <laughs> I thought after those first two, four, two, three, two games, we're in for a win today, today, but it's about my luck, that. Yeah, we saw, again, Jeremy Sarmiento off the bench. Fans are calling for him to, to start. Um, I'm sure that's something you'd hope to see He's in the coming He's absolute class. So I go back a long way, and uh, he... Not as good at the moment, but he's got a touch of Cunningham about him, you know, Roy Cunningham. Get the, 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 the balance, the grace, the ability to beat a player, you know, class. Got to get him in, but we all know there's more to it than just running at people. He's got to do the dirty side of the game as well, and I think that's what Carlos is trying to get him to do. So I don't think he's the finished article yet. I think overall we know we're skint. We know Cole Brown wanted more players in. He was never going to get them. I think to close the window with nobody else leaving was a bonus. But I think we're looking like a meat table team. From the Give him a start, yeah. yeah. Try starting the two up front. Yeah, do you think that would make a difference? Yeah. Maybe like we've seen a manager as well, you mentioned starting two up front, you know, do you think he's he's got more to come from him? Yeah, I, I think he's... I, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. yeah. Maybe a bit of a change, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he looks good, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. He looks dangerous when he gets the ball. You'd like to see him start again, really, because you, you get glimpses of him for what, 20 minutes, and he, he looks good for those 20 minutes, but I'd like to see him start again soon. Grady Dean Garner come off the off the bench, someone who we, we thought might depart the Hawthorns in, in the January transfer window, you know. Hopefully now we can see him recapture his form from, from a few years ago now he's staying at the club. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean obviously it was a great play in that first season, we've never quite done it since, is it so um, and then I think we need Jed Wallace to step up again. I don't quite know what's happened to Wallace, he was brilliant last season and he's been not great this season really at all. But yeah. uh, well, yeah, I think given the circumstances, lot to look forward to. Yeah, that was my final question, really. You know, what's your reaction to the, you know, the closing of the window? No big players when I the one I came in. Um, you're yeah, happy, I'm really. Glad at he's in. I'm glad he's come in because Thorbrand knows him, and I think um, I think he will certainly challenge Furlong. We need somebody to challenge him. In fact, I think he'll be the first choice for that. And I think Magia will become the first choice number nine. As much as I like Asante, and I'm glad he didn't go. Don't see him as a number nine. There's some good stuff today, but I understand why they're swapped in, even though there's lots of criticism around me. You know, it's a 90 minute game and it's a, it's, a, it's a 20 man squad or whatever it is these days, so he's going to utilise that squad. So I have no real complaints other than gutted the way it ended. I mean, you always want more, but I think given the situation we're in, yeah, you were more, I was more grateful we didn't lose players than bringing them in, because I just think we're in a difficult position where we're more likely to sell them by at the moment, aren't we? So I suppose, yeah, you want more, but fair enough, I think.